So, Brian Weedai, eSports, as it's known, has not really crossed over into the sports gaming world at all. Um, you know, when you think about eSports, if you know anything about it, you know, it pretty much comes down to four or five big games. Games like League of Legends, uh, games like Dota 2, games like Super Smash Brothers, games like Smite. None of these are sporting <laughs> kinds of games. Um, but they certainly do, you know, if you look one layer above what the actual game is, everything around the competitions and the tournaments and the and the money and the sponsorships and the fact that they get together, you know, they have these things at big arenas looks a lot like a sporting event. You know, the teams and the way that they're constructed and and things like that. Um, you know, the way that the the esports players move around and you know, so. Um, it's kind of like, you know, on the surface, a little interesting to think that the big sports games, you know, the FIFAs, the Maddens, the NBA 2Ks have actually not really been a factor at all in the rise of esports as over the past five or six years in particular, that genre has gotten so popular. But, you know, with that popularity has come a huge influx of money. I mean, if you are a team that wins the League of Legends World Championships, you win a million bucks. If you're winning, you know, the Dota 2 Championships, you're winning a lot more than that. Um, mm -hmm. And so that obviously attracts the eyes and wallets of, uh, of different people. And Electronic Arts in particular, I'm sure, is looking at that or has been looking at that and thinking, well, what can we do? to perhaps start to get into this space for real. Um, and it looks like this um, this new mode, well, it doesn't look like because they've actually come out pretty much and said it, this new mode in Madden or the, you know, the, the ranked draft champions is really an entrance into that. What do you think is their, their angle here? And do you think it will be successful? Well, there, there have been... Um, uh, some there's some history of, of sports games trying to break into esports. I think the first that really attempted to do that was uh, at THQ with their UFC franchise. Uh, they what they did was they created a mode uh, that was balanced. Each fighter was balanced. So that that's one of the keys to really esports is the uh, limiting and one of the things that hampers sports games in that regard is the player ratings. All the variables involved right. in sports, naturally, yep. and um, and things like the you know the random, just general randomness that happens in sports. And so THQ tried to take that out a little bit and make it more of a instead of a UFC game, it was like a fighting game, you know, just like just like any other competitive fighting game out there. Uh, what Madden did when they introduced Draft Champions, and this was before this ranked mode, we said when that was introduced first, we talked about. This looks like their way, their attempt to get into esports because you're creating a bit of a competition in how you piece together your teams. Nobody has an unfair advantage because everybody gets a certain amount of these higher tier players that you draft. Uh, so there's competition involved in putting your team together and involved in facing off against other people. And then all the other uh, all the other players on the teams are fairly even. So. Uh, they introduced this ranked mode, which is tied in with ultimate teams. So not only are they uh, trying to introduce an esports way to play this game, and they're broadcasting it over the coming months with this Madden challenge and giving away a prize at the end, but they're also trying to make money by pushing ultimate team more with this mode. Because the only way you can play Draft Champions ranked is with coins. You have to buy tickets to play... Uh, a draft champion to, to make a run at it. You have to buy three tickets, which costs 9,000 coins. And the only way you earn coins is through Ultimate Team by playing solo challenges or head-to-head or -head seasons in Ultimate Team. So you have your, it's, it's basically pay to play, and you have to spend time and or money in Ultimate Team to, to get into draft champions ranked. So there's two angles here uh, that I see, and that's one, yes, they want the eSports presence. Number two, they want to entrench people more in Ultimate Team, and, uh, and, and that's what it comes down to is you know, they're trying to make money on both ends uh, and then trying to promote their game at the same time with this mode. 
You know, there's other things too, like for example, with NHL with their new EA Sports Hockey League changes, oh, yeah. they went they you know they went for an approach where you know you sort of pick the type of player that you want with these classes, but you don't rank up your players so that when you get into a game, you're not potentially facing you know some guys who might be ranked you know in the high 90s, where yeah. yours might be in the low 70s. So, you know, it's another area where it, it, while they may not be going full bore. They're putting different things in in yeah. place that would put you know would set the groundwork. So, yeah, you see that you, know, you see that in a couple of the other games too. FIFA Ultimate Team Draft in FIFA, similar right. to what they're doing in Madden, um, right. and then UFC having an Ultimate Team again. That's where I think they're headed towards with UFC, which is what THQ wanted to do, which was hey, fighting is really popular in esports because it's just one on one and it's skill against skill, right? And maybe maybe a certain type of fighter against another certain type of fighter and who can best uh, uh, compete in that uh, arena. Um, and that, that can be the same in UFC here. They're, you're forming an ultimate team and um, you're, you're putting together a few different fighters and then you have to use those fighters in a match. And those matches only take five to 15 minutes to play. So you could do a best of three, a best of five, whatever you want in esports environment. So there, there's a lot of that coming down the line for uh, other sports games too. And you know, it wouldn't surprise me if 2K wants to do that with their uh, spin off of their uh, my team mode there. So uh, a lot of potential there in all these games. You know, and I've been to, it's been a few years, but I've been to some big time um, sports game challenges championships like i don't know it was about three years ago maybe four in new york city i think it was virgin you know that had their you know, championships and they had a fifa and they had madden and the winners yeah. you know got some pretty big money but yet it doesn't and maybe i'm just not looking in the right places but it doesn't feel like that momentum has continued uh, in fact i think it is is if it hasn't yeah. stopped it certainly slowed and it just may be, like I said, because I'm not looking in the right places or something like that, but it certainly isn't promoted by no, EA, right? No, no, it largely largely disappeared. I think they continued some uh, online tournaments, basically, but nothing to the to the level of what they had been trying to do in the past and, and certainly what other games from other genres are doing now in esports. You know, and the blueprint also is for the makers of the games to own the championship. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Riot Games owns the League of Legends. When I say owns, I mean, you know, they're the they're the, uh, you know, organization that sort of dictates the rules and sets the the, you know, the way that it's constructed. Valve runs, uh, I believe, the Dota Dota mm -hmm. 2 and, and so on. So, you know, it makes sense if you are electronic arts that. Okay, you've got these games that are very popular, have millions of players, some more than others, but very popular. Uh, you see there's this this world called eSports, which has the word sports in it, but to people who like sports, traditional sports fans, they are completely, like, it, it doesn't even translate. You know what I mean? No. Like, if you're an American sports fan, watching the League of Legends World Championships or Dota 2, you're like, what yeah, they that? had uh, they had they had Heroes of the Storm, I think it was on yeah, ESPN it, too, it and baffling. people it people freaked, and it does not it doesn't translate very well to right. people who don't understand the game. Now, sports they should theoretically, but at the and, same time, right. you don't have near the same number of viewers watching on a Twitch, uh, watching people play Madden as right. as you do any of these other games. EA started the uh, started this this uh, Madden Challenge thing, and they had past champions playing on Twitch the other day. Right. Uh, and they were playing games uh, that, like, that they're competing in, in some manner within this tournament against each other. Um, and uh, I, I checked in on it a few times, and they peaked, as far as I saw, peaked at like 3,300, 3,500 3, viewers, as opposed to, what are we talking, hundreds of thousands watching uh, the esports competitions. Right. Right, but I mean, again, the, the esports competitions have have had an audience and a you right. know a target for years, and this thing is just starting with 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 that. Um, yeah, but yeah, you know, it's just interesting how um, you know it doesn't it doesn't really cross over. Now, could it? Of course, it absolutely could. You know, these things take time to build, and you need to find your audience. Um, it'll it'll be interesting. It's certainly not surprising to see. You know, Madden now have a mode that they say this is for esports, and now we're 
mm. you know, putting these tournaments together. We're going to pay prizes. You know, I think fifty thousand dollars is like what the the winner gets, which you know is nothing close to what the you know the world's leading esports tournament winners get. But fifty thousand dollars is fifty thousand bucks. I mean, mm. you know, it's certainly worthwhile if you are a um, high level Madden player to think about you know maybe taking a run at something like that. And yeah. it's never been easier to do it either. Obviously, with the technology that we have and it's just you know, to it's, clarify rich uh it, it's fifty thousand is the total prize pool twenty thousand goes to the winner and okay. the other and the other fifty thousand gets split up between i don't know the top 64 or the top 16 i don't know what it is but something something of that nature right but if you look at i think the first league of legends world championship i think in 2010 or 11 or 12 you know whenever the first sort of of this current um iteration uh, came out. I think it was fifty thousand dollars. Hello, oh, I think hey. it was fifty thousand dollars. You know, for the for the winner as well, and then it grew. So you got to. So it's a baby. Somewhere. It's a baby, but especially when you compare it to like the uh, MLB Two K, which was giving away a million dollars for the perfect game thing. I mean, it's it's a drop in the bucket. I mean, it's it's important to to the people who are competing and who would Absolutely. win. Absolutely, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, it's not on that level yet. Maybe in the future, that's where they're heading. But for now, they're just try- starting to grow. But it certainly makes for an interesting approach. It makes for yet another wrinkle in the way that these games are delivered, right? You know, your traditional franchise modes, and mm. um, you know, your ultimate teams, and now your sort of esports modes. And obviously, they you know, different parts of them can sort of live with each other. But then other parts of them need to be you know developed and managed separately and um you know that that you know presents you know to uh long-time players of the games you know a little bit of potential concern you know will my the way that i play this game sort of be um, mm. you know will the attention paid to it get ratcheted down in favor of these others or well actually um the you know the the development resources that go into this actually help the game you know get better overall you know and again there's no way to answer the questions now but i'm not surprised um that as esports continues to to rise that electronic art seems to be firmly grasping this i will not be surprised as you mentioned if we see take two do the same thing or try to do the same thing with with nba 2k yeah uh, it clearly is getting a lot of attention there's a lot of dollars um you know television showing these things twitch numbers uh, it will be fascinating to see how this moves forward, not just in 2016, but also, you know, over the course of the next few years.